Oh, oh, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive program with a very special video for you. I'm going to solve a problem that you, you're bound to have right now. You're probably wondering why I'm holding this pineapple in my hand. All will be explained. First of all, here's the problem. Do you find that at the moment, beginning of January, yes, I can write out all those plans and goals that I want for 2020. That's not a problem. Lose weight, drop a dress size, gain fitness, vitality, better relationships, abundance, whatever it may be. You can do that part. But when it comes to actually acting on that and moving forward on a regular improvement program, it just, it just doesn't happen. Now this is very common. Don't beat yourself up. I'm going through it. I'll share with you what I'm doing now to crack that code if you like, but it can be broken. Okay, so here's the problem. I'm gonna give you a solution for the Think to Thrive team. Pineapple. Left over from Christmas, why is Tony holding a pineapple? I don't know, but there is a reason. This pineapple is left over from Christmas. I've obviously consumed the juicy fruit parts of the pineapple, but this pineapple is related to this diagram. And when you draw this diagram, you're gonna think of this pineapple. First of all, why pineapple? Well, did you know that the leaves from a pineapple, if they're planted into the ground, they can rejuvenate. They can actually create new pineapples simply from the leaves. Fascinating fact. You want rejuvenation, you want greater vitality, you want to move ahead in life. Think of the pineapple. I'm going to put this down. Coming across to this diagram. Now, let's say you've woken up in the morning, you, you know what your goals are, you can see them in your imagination, but you just lack that initiative, that push. You just wish you could change your state of being so that you just got on with that first jog, you got on with that first visit to the gym or that first healthy meal or whatever it may be, this is gonna help you. Okay, so think of the pineapple. Here are the pineapple leaves, which I've just talked about. Down the bottom is the fruit. Very cryptic diagram, but it works. This is what I do and I'm sharing the very best with you. Okay, so we wanna get a change in state so that we can get on with those goals. First of all, Copy out this diagram onto a piece of paper. These parts represent the leaves, the fruit. Start by drawing a line down the middle of the page. Draw these curves, draw a curve down the bottom. In this first part here, you're going to put a letter P, which stands for people. In this part here, you're going to put the letter I, which stands for involved. In this part here, you're going to put the letter N, which stands for new. And finally, in this part of the pineapple, you're going to put the letter E, which stands for enjoyed. Okay, down the bottom, you notice here that I've got before and after in the bottom that fruit part of the pineapple. Okay, so you get a piece of paper out, draw that diagram, get a pen in your hand. Give yourself quality time away from distractions. It might mean you've got to get out of the house in the morning or in the evening, go somewhere quiet. 10 minutes and I'll show you this works wonders in terms of making your first step into 2020 work in achieving your goals. You get a pen and all you're going to do is you're going to decide that in this area here you're going to write down say 10 things, 10 people that you have met or worked with over the last few months that you feel truly grateful for. Truly grateful for, it can be anything. People that you have spent time with, think of 10 people that you're really grateful for. All right, you can do that. And just spend time writing those names down in here. Now I'm gonna do this for you in a minute when I run through this and you can come back and see what mine looks like. 10 people in here, okay, that you feel truly grateful for. Make sure you do not move on to the I in pine until you finish the P. On this side here where it says involved, I want you to write down 10 things that you've got involved with that have made you feel truly grateful and alive. Okay, 10 things you've been involved with. It could be anything at all. Don't stop until you filled 10 in. Give yourself this quality time. Then move down to the letter N. For new, write down 10 things 10 new things that you've experienced over the last few months, it could be years, weeks, days, that you feel truly grateful for. 10 new things. Don't stop until you've got all 10 written down. And finally, in this section where it says enjoyed, 
write down 10 things or events, situations that you really truly enjoyed recently. Don't stop until you've written 10 down. Now, before you fill in this diagram, this gratitude chart, just have a look down here. Notice it says before and after in these two sections. So what you're gonna do is before you start filling this list in, you're gonna give yourself a score between zero and 10. Zero being I feel utterly lost and, and utterly no, no inspiration or motivation to get on with my 2020 goals. That's how I feel, utterly not gonna bother. 10 being I'm totally thriving, I'm gonna go out there and smash it, okay? And I want you to give yourself a score between zero and 10 in this area here. When you've completed this diagram, I want you then, after you've completed, to then give yourself a feeling score between zero and 10 in this area here. And you're gonna notice something very, very special. But I'm gonna go away and fill in this chart now. I will see you in a minute and you'll see how mine looks like. And I will explain and help you move forward on your goals. I'll see you in a minute. So welcome back. As you can see, I've spent about five, 10 minutes filling in my pineapple gratitude list. And these are just some of my, my, my ideas. Now, when I'd stopped doing that process, I just felt like I had some direction. I felt kind of better in myself. Like, do you know what? I can do that. I can, I can go out for a run. Do you know, I'm gonna go put my shoes on now and go for that job. Because this put me into a different state simply by practicing gratitude. And can you notice something? That after I'd completed this process, I gave myself a score of seven. So I've changed my state. I now feel just more optimistic. You try this. It's, it's incredibly powerful. It will help you get going on your 2020 goals and it will just move you forward. It will just put you into a different state. Because I'm sure you agree, the plan is not the problem. It's that get up and go. When you change the state, the way you see things, you'll find it a lot easier to get on with those goals. There's bags more information in the Triple T program. Below this right now, hit that link, get on board because Mike and I are waiting for you to see you on the inside to make those changes that I know you want deep down inside. We've got a lot of information, it's all there waiting for you. I'll see you on the inside. I hope this helped move you a little bit forward in 2020 goal setting. This is Tony Mallet signing out. I'm